adenyl cyclus. Adenyl cyclus, also commonly known as adenyl cyclus and adenylate cyclus, abbreviated AC, is an enzyme with key regulatory roles in essential ill cells. It is the most polyphyletic known enzyme. Six distinct classes have been described, all catalyzing the same reaction but representing unrelated gene families with no known sequence or structural homology. The best known class of adenyl cycluses is class 3 or AC3. Roman numerals are used for classes. AC3 occurs widely in eukaryotes and has important roles in many human tissues. All classes of adenyl cyclus catalyze the conversion of adenosine triphosphate, ATP, to 3,5 cyclic AMP, CAMP, and pyrophosphate. Magnesium ions are generally required and appears to be closely involved in the enzymatic mechanism. The CAMP produced by AC then serves as a regulatory signal via specific CAMP binding proteins, either transcription factors, enzymes, for example, CAMP-dependent kinases, or ion transporters. The first class of adenyl cycluses occur in many bacteria including E. coli. This was the first class of AC to be characterized. It was observed that E. coli deprived of glucose produce CAMP that serves as an internal signal to activate expression of genes for importing and metabolizing other sugars. CAMP exerts this effect by binding the transcription factor CRP, also known as CAP. Class IACs are large cytosolic enzymes, tilde 100 kata, with a large regulatory domain, tilde 50 kata, that indirectly senses glucose levels. No crystal structure is available for class IAC. These adenyl cycluses are toxins secreted by pathogenic bacteria such as Bacillus anthracis, Bordetella pertussis, Pseudomonas aeruginosa, and Vibrio vulnificus during infections. These bacteria also secrete proteins that enable the AC2 to enter host cells, where the exogenous AC activity undermines normal cellular processes. The genes for class II ACs are known as CIA. Several crystal structures are known for AC2 enzymes. These adenyl cycluses are the most familiar based on extensive study due to their important roles in human health. They are also found in some bacteria notably Mycobacterium tuberculosis where they appear to have a key role in pathogenesis. Most AC3S are integral membrane proteins involved in transducing extracellular signals into intracellular responses. A Nobel Prize was awarded to Earl Sutherland in 1971 for discovering the key role of AC3 in human liver, where adrenaline indirectly stimulates AC to mobilize a stored energy in the fight or flight response. The effect of adrenaline is via G protein signaling cascade, which transmits chemical signals from outside the cell across the membrane to the inside of the cell, cytoplasm. The outside signal, in this case, adrenaline, binds to a receptor, which transmits a signal to the egg protein, which transmits a signal to adenyl cyclus, which transmits a signal by converting adenosine triphosphate to cyclic adenosine monophosphate CAMP. CAMP is known as a second messenger. Cyclic AMP is an important molecule in eukaryotic signal transduction, a so-called second messenger. Adenyl cycluses are often activated or inhibited by proteins, which are coupled to membrane receptors and thus can respond to hormonal or other stimuli. Following activation of adenyl cyclus, the resulting CAMP acts as a second messenger by interacting with and regulating other proteins such as protein kinase and cyclic nucleotide gated ion channels. Photoactivatable adenyl cyclus PAC, was discovered in Euglena gracilis and can be expressed in other organisms through genetic manipulation. Shining blue light on a cell containing PAC activates it and abruptly increases the rate of conversion of ATP to CAMP. This is a useful technique for researchers in neuroscience because it allows them to quickly increase the intracellular CAMP levels in particular neurons, and to study the effect of that increase in neural activity on the behavior of the organism. For example, PAC expression in certain neurons has been shown to alter the grooming behavior in fruit flies exposed to blue light. A green light activated rhodopsin adenyl cyclus, CARAC, has recently been engineered by modifying the nucleotide binding pocket of rhodopsin quinyl cyclus from the fungus Catenaria anguilliale. Proposed mechanism Most class III adenyl cycluses are transmembrane proteins with 12 transmembrane segments. The protein is organized with six transmembrane segments, then the C1 cytoplasmic domain, then another six membrane segments, and then a second cytoplasmic domain called C2. The important parts for function are the N terminus and the C1 and C2 regions. The C1A and C2A subdomains are homologous and form an intramolecular dimer that forms the active site. 
In Mycobacterium tuberculosis, the AC3 polypeptide is only half as long, comprising one 6 transmembrane domain followed by a cytoplasmic domain, but two of these form a functional homodomer that resembles the mammalian architecture. There are 10 known isoforms of adenyl cyclases in mammals. These are also sometimes called simply AC1, AC2, etc., and, somewhat confusingly, sometimes Roman numerals are used for these isoforms that all belong to the overall AC class 3. They differ mainly in how they are regulated, and are differentially expressed in various tissues throughout mammalian development. Adenyl cyclus is regulated by G proteins, which can be found in the monomeric form or the heterotrimeric form, consisting of three subunits. Adenyl cyclus activity is controlled by heterotrimeric G proteins. The inactive or inhibitory form exists when the complex consists of alpha, beta, and gamma subunits, with GDP bound to the alpha subunit. In order to become active, a ligand must bind to the receptor and cause a conformational change. This conformational change causes the alpha subunit to dissociate from the complex and become bound to GTP. This G-alpha GTP complex then binds to adenyl cyclus and causes activation and the release of CAMP. Since a good signal requires the help of enzymes, which turn on and off signals quickly, there must also be a mechanism in which adenyl cyclus deactivates and inhibits CAMP. The deactivation of the active G-alpha GTP complex is accomplished rapidly by GTP hydrolysis due to the reaction being catalyzed by the intrinsic enzymatic activity of GTPase located in the alpha subunit. It is also regulated by forskolin, as well as other isoform-specific effectors. In neurons, Calcium-sensitive adenyl cyclases are located next to calcium ion channels for faster reaction to CA influx, they are suspected of playing an important role in learning processes. This is supported by the fact that adenyl cyclases are coincidence detectors, meaning that they are activated only by several different signals occurring together. In peripheral cells and tissues adenyl cyclases appear to form molecular complexes with specific receptors and other signaling proteins in an isoform-specific manner. Adenyl cyclus has been implicated in memory formation, functioning as a coincidence detector. AC4 was first reported in the bacteria Marimonas hydrophila, and the structure of the AC4 from Yersinia pestis has been reported. These are the smallest of the AC enzyme classes. The AC4 from Yersinia is a dimer of 19 K to subunits with no known regulatory components. These forms of AC have been reported in specific bacteria, Prevotella ruminicola and Rhizobia medi respectively, and have not been extensively characterized. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.